Hi, welcome to another Tesla Tips video. Uh, today I saw on social media that uh, Give Energy got a new battery system out, an all-in-one. Uh, so I thought I'd have a quick look and a quick comparison to my system and the My Energy Libby. Very popular at the moment, if uh, YouTube and uh, Twitter to be believed. And a little look at my uh, bargain basement pylon tech system. Um, so that's my system, a US 5000 and three US 3000s and a Solis three kilowatt uh, AC coupled inverter. So uh, just to price up my system, if we wanted to do it currently, uh, you can see the batteries there are uh, about £1,500 each, uh, including VAT. So to give a system that's comparable to the uh, my energy and uh, give energy systems I thought I'd uh, put some things together in the basket so yes yeah, so we need uh, three batteries uh, some sundry other bits so you'll need a uh, disconnect for the uh, the battery system it's all these little bits and bobs all add up You'll need a, uh, a data login stick, obviously, because you want to keep an eye on what your uh, your system's doing. You need some uh, brackets, obviously, because the. Uh, the batteries need to be stacked. Uh, you can either have them in a rack mounted system or use these brackets. Um, they all clip together with buckle clips, so they're quite good. So um, we're building the system up now. I think uh, we need the inverter now. So mine is a Solis uh, 5G, it's called. Uh, it's only a 3 kilowatt AC coupled inverter. Still £723 there, including the VAT. So we're up to £5,500 already. Just trying to remember what else uh, I had to buy when I had my kit brought together. Yeah, I think we need the um, the long cables now to attach the batteries up to the inverter itself. The short cables that link the batteries together came with the kit. Okay, so that's most of the stuff now. We've got some sundry, some cabling and things, but I think, uh, I can't remember if we needed an export meter, um, but uh, you definitely need some sort of AC isolator between the uh, distribution board and the inverter. Uh, doesn't look like ITS have got them at the moment. Just part of a kit there. No, nothing there. No, nothing there. Uh, yeah, so you'd need an uh, ACI isolator as well and some other bits and bobs. But uh, that gives us a total of £5,500 with the tax. Obviously, uh, deliveries on top of that again. And like I said, these are other bits and bobs. So you're probably getting close to £6,000 uh, when all said and done. Not bad though for a 15 uh, kilowatt system. So we're looking at the uh, Libby then, uh, looking at Midsummer's website. Um, they got listed at the moment with a kit with the five kilowatt hybrid inverter, 15 kilowatts of batteries, and uh, the controller.
yeah, so you've got an option either 3.6 or 3.7 and 5 kilowatt inverters. And uh, the battery systems are modular, so they're 5 kilowatts each. So I think the one we need to look at is a 15 kilowatt hour one, which is like three battery, three 5 kilowatt battery packs. Obviously a superior system to mine uh, with a 5 kilowatt hybrid inverter. Um, obviously the limiting factor for mine is a 3 kilowatt output. Uh, and uh, you can see their battery capacity is actually 4.5 kilowatt hours for each uh, module compared to uh, 5.12 which is uh, the advertised rate. So yeah, so the five kilowatt uh, hybrid inverter, obviously you, that your solar panels DC can come straight into that as well. Uh, whereas my system, I've got a separate uh, solar inverter in the attic, which changes the solar panels down to AC. So quite a neat system. But expensive, eleven and a half thousand pounds, and that's before VAT. So you're looking at about thirteen thousand uh, pounds. In comparison to the Give Energy All-in-One system, which is a uh, thirteen point five kilowatt usable, so it probably is about a fifteen kilowatt hour battery. Um, Seven point two kilowatts peak power through the inverter. I think it. Uh, that's double what my uh, my inverter can do obviously so a little look at the data sheet for this yeah 13.5 kilowatts uh, 6 kilowatt inverter 7.2 kilowatts peak that's got to be more than enough for anybody's use surely unless you're charging a car at the same time it's got a kettle on or something so yeah, back capacity 31.5, usable. Some impressive specs really. Heavy, 173 kilos. On a five year warranty. So it comes with a gateway, this kit. So that's an 18 kilowatt uh, AC power. I think I read somewhere else that you can have three of these uh, battery units together. So I suppose that's uh, three six kilowatt uh, battery packs. A little brochure here. Looks like a neat system. Yep, it says connect up to six systems in parallel and achieve 80 kilowatts of usable energy storage. That's got to be enough, surely. Nice looking app. It says long lasting chemistry, I suppose it's lithium, iron, phosphate. Most home storage uh, ones are now. And uh, glowing reference from S. Roberts. Yeah, six and a half thousand pounds plus VAT. So uh, just a little roundup then. Uh, you can see the difference in cost between my system, the Libby, and the Give Energy. Obviously, my system's the cheapest, but it's the uh, got the lowest power output. Uh, the Give Energy's got the highest power output, six kilowatts continuous. And the, but the storage capacities for three systems are all very very similar. Please consider using my Octopus Energy referral code. Uh, we both share £100, £50 each. Thanks.